Yes. Yes, my boys. Yes. What's going on? It's your best mate. It's the Scrud Munch. Gaming Scrudly. And here we are with our beloved Elder Scrolls. The fifth installment of which... <laughs> oh, you boys know what's going on. So today, I'm starting off a new kind of run. I'm going to be running this kind of concurrently with uh, my Dark Souls run. And this is a Skyrim NPC challenge. And so this was uh, suggested by a good friend, McSchmidt, hey, you. in the YouTube comments section. Away. You were trying to cross the border, right? Oh, Gunji. Right yes, yes, my friend. Same as us. And that thief over there. And so this playthrough is just as it sounds. We're going to live our life like an NPC, and we're going to be doing uh, medial tasks to earn money, just like a normal NPC. We're going to integrate into the Skyrim society, um, earn a job, get a house, get a wife, settle down. We're going to go about our day. We're going to roam the, the, the wilds. And it's going to be a fun run, I can tell you. See, so we go. We're just starting on. And so the main thing with this run, guys, is we're just going to be, as I said, we're just going to be uh, living life as if we were in Skyrim. This is the ultimate immersive experience, and uh, just got to mention, I've got a couple of mods on. So, namely, I've got Jobs of Skyrim mod on. Um, so that allows more jobs to be had around the towns, uh, which is kind of good for this run because it gives us stuff to do. Uh, it gives us a better way to earn money, and it's way more immersive. So we're going to be doing that for this run. Here we go. We're getting into town now, so we close now, boys. Fucking old mates freaking out over here. Look at him, General Tullius, the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with them. And so guys, I also want to make this challenge run. Well, it's not really a challenge, is it? It's just kind of a fun little thing to do. I want to make this a community-based uh, kind of video series. So uh, what I want you guys to do is in the comments, um, I'll let you guys know la a bit later what we're going to do. Um, but we're going to play around with the comments section. Um, and for order for you guys to choose what we do next, uh, with our character. So here we go, we've arrived in, uh, I forget the town name now, but it doesn't matter. So this is it boys, end of the line. Or, beginning of the road. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire so guys, we're just gonna... I know we've all seen the intro tr ten trillion times. Just bear with me, we're gonna... Just for the sake of completion, we're gonna go through... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip a little bits here and there, and we'll just get... We'll just get right into our, our NPC, um, kind of... Play for... So we won't really be doing any of this main storyline or anything like that. We're just going to be living. Uh, we're just living life. <laughs> oh, look here. <laughs> what a lord. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus, boys. Here we go. It's going to take a while. Two thousand years later. All right, so we got our Breton here set out. His name is Godric you Garb. Classic name. Court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? Well, what the fuck, the dude? Forget the list. He goes <laughs> to the block. This guy's if glitching hard. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you have a man to turn the highway. Stop fucking double. Me? 
Oh, boys, I know what that sound is. is. That's when you bloody kick your toe on the coffee table. Oh. Fuck, someone just got done. Far nice oh, out, boys. So all shit's breaking loose now, so we're just going to power through this intro. We've all seen it millions of times. Whoa. Just while we're here, I'm going to change the difficulty. Because you know what, we're going to play this on a... Uh, oh, Expert? Maybe Master, I might just skip to Master a bit later, but... I just think we should keep it on a really hard difficulty. And and also, what I haven't actually discussed yet is, guys, it's going to be permadeath. So as soon as we die, that's it, our NPC is dead. That's, it. that's him, go on. Um, so we're going to be playing on a real hard e def um, difficulty. Um, we won't be roaming the wilds too much, I imagine. We're mainly going to be sticking to the towns. But if, hey, if you guys want to do a uh, roaming in the wilds, we'll do it. And if we die, well, we die. So this is going to be uh, the ultimate immersive experience of Skyrim. And I think I'm just going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with the Imperials for this one. Because, uh... Yeah, I went with the Imperials, so I just think, you know, really old time? mate here was, he was pretty nice, pretty empathetic of my plight. Should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. So guys, as, I was, as I've hinted at earlier, there what I want you guys to do is, so although I'm starting the run now, this is the start, I'm just getting the ball rolling. What I want you guys to do is put in the comments what you want to do for the next episode, what you guys want to do f with our NPC, what what will he do, will he commit a murder, will he go to jail, I don't know, what will he do, he could freaking go to Falkreath and just fuck around for a bit, who knows, but I want you guys to put in the comments what you want the next character, the next episode and our NPC to do, and the highest liked comment, well that's what we'll do, so that's how we're going to do it, we're going to keep this a community based uh, playthrough, and so the highest comment uh, will be what we do in the next episode. And I know there's going to be some dudes like, Oi bro, fucking kill yourself. And You don't think I'll do it. I'll bloody do it. You don't think I'm going to fucking do that? If you say kill yourself, I'll kill myself. And then the run's over. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be like such a fucking statement. Nah, that's not going to happen. But anyway. I have faith in you guys to, to play the system, you know, to do it right, to take it seriously. Otherwise, I'll be very disappointed. What the fuck, dude? I just hit that. This guy's bloody retarded. Yeah! Oh, fuck. What if we die in the tutorial? That'd be embarrassing. Nah, we got old mate on our, mate, on our side. Holy shit. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Alright. So guys, I won't... I also... I'm not really going to be looting anything. I don't really want to pick up anything while we're in the tutorial. Because I kind of want to keep our, our time in Skyrim as bare bones as minimal. So we have to start from the ground up. Although I will take these cabbages. You know I love me some cabbage. Oh, fuck, so we're going to sneak. We'll just try and sneak up on these guys, see if we can get a bit of a surprise attack. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude! He's ruined the fucking sur You bloody prick. Where is he, man? He's supposed to be helping me. Fuck's sake, boys. I'm. This is on Master already. I'm getting bloody crowned over here. Fucking hell, where's old mate? Oh. This is taking no <laughs> shit. Where is this guy, man? Oh, he's just standing there. <laughs> you, better, you better get a sword out, mate, because there's a heap of them. This guy's a god. He's just fucking... Oh. oh, I'm going to take this guy down. 
Yeah, got him. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck, this combat is pretty good. It's really good on the higher difficulties. It's actually worth uh the game isn't actually too easy. It's it's a nice challenge. Oh yeah, boys, and that's how it's done. Alright guys, so we're outside now, um, and as I said, I really want to start off as bare bones, as minimal for this NPC run. We want to kind of, we don't want to have any kind of advantage, so we're just going to go ahead and drop all of this, uh, well, just hang on, sorry. Yeah, we're just going to drop all this kind of, these items that we picked up. Uh, I'm going to keep the iron dagger, um, just to, that's going to be our weapon of choice. Um... I'm going to get rid of all the, most of these, and yeah, that should be it. Alright, so we've dropped most of the gear, um, oh, we need that wooden ladle. So we're just going to, um, yeah, so now we're starting the game, we've got our little iron dagger, we've got our rough skin tunic, um, okay, so where are we heading? I believe Riverwood, so let us go, like true NPC style, to travel the roads of Skyrim. So guys, I'm not sure either, I might not level up. Uh, we could do this just as like a level one. Um, I haven't decided yet, you guys can let me know. <laughs> so I'm just going to head to right, White Run. And we're going to settle in. I think I think my plan is to get a job um, in White Run. I might cut some firewood or something like that. Um, but first, we've got to get into White Run, so we've got to bribe the guards. Um, so I might pick some cabbage, do a bit of farming, get into um, White Run, and then hopefully we can nail a job. Maybe we can cut some firewood, do some selling of wood. <laughs> Come here, you bastard! <laughs> Sell some firewood, and then. Uh, what my goal is for the first night in White Run, we we want to we want to stay the night, so we've got to find a bed. So maybe we'll go to the Bennett Mare. Just kill this rabbit because we need some uh, we need some food for later. Oh shit, boys! Fuck, I've got a disease now already. Sorry, I'll just heal. Remember guys, this is on master difficulty, so every encounter can pretty much end me. Um, so we'll just get that pelt for some leather strips later. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stay the night in the Bennett Mare, I think. Rent out the room. Hopefully we can make a much enough money to do that um, by getting some, some kind of job. Um, and that's going to start our NPC run. We're going to be a resident of White Run. And hopefully we'll then work our way up to owning Bree's home. <laughs> but it all depends on those comments, guys. So you got to put in the comments what you want our NPC to do in the next episode. And we will do it. The highest like comment, we will do it. Oh, fuck. I cannot take these guys, so I'm just going to... As any NPC probably would, he would run away. So there it is, the beautiful white run. So as I mentioned before, guys, we're playing with Jobs of Skyrim mod. And that's just so we, we, we're kind of... And also a couple of mods to make a, the, the world a bit more vibrant. Um, and that's just so, you know, we, we kind of have a bit more things to do around the town in terms of jobs. Um, to make this run kind of a bit more legitimate, you know. So it's going to be a bit of fun, I think. I'm keen to start this new, uh, this new kind of playthrough, and I hopefully, you know, I can't wait to see where it takes us. Chill Furrow Farm. As a normal NPC, we got to use the gate. <laughs> What's old mate over here doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, I need the woodcutter axe. Damn, boys. I was hoping we could just um, 
we could have started our, our labor, our time in the workforce right there. But um, as it turns out, we're going to need the woodcutter's axe, which I'm pretty sure you can just pick up in Whiterun. It's just laying on the ground. Um, so we're going to have to definitely get into Whiterun before we can do some woodcutting and, and things like that. Ooh, we found a Nern root. Classic Elder Scrolls 4. My, my, it's a giant! Yes. Do something. I can't do something, I'm just a... I'm a harmless NPC. That must have scared him off. Take some arrows, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no worries, bro. There's a nip in honest pay for honest work. So they're just the cab. Let's 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 help this fella out on his farm. We're just gonna pick some cabbages. Um, and this will be the beginning of our time in the workforce. Uh, humble labor, hard yakker, boys. Just gonna earn some gold enough to get into White Run. That's what we need. So we're playing this like a true uh, a true RPG. Good to have you buy honest bay for honest work. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it cool, so we made a bit of bit of coin there, that was nice. So I'll just go pick the rest of these fields. Help him out on his That's farm. Taken care of. No thanks to you. Alright then. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm a I'm just a humble farmer. What do you expect me to fucking do? You guys are warriors. I'm not a I'm not a warrior, I'm a farmer. <laughs> Alright, mate. Here, I picked I your potatoes. Honest bay for honest work. Good on you, buddy. I'll go, uh, I'll get the rest of your cabbage for you. What's this guy doing? Just... Getting tired of hanging around talking all day. You were literally standing there. Go, leave. <laughs> no one is talking to you. All right, guys. So we've we've helped this guy out on his farm, um, made a bit of coin here. Um, as a Nibbany. humble farmer. Honest bay for honest work. So we're just trying to get this quest. Uh, um, so I've tried to get some of the quests going in the Jobs of Skyrim mod. So I've become a I've become a postman. I have to deliver a letter to Am Amran. Amran? Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. I don't. I. You're probably not wrong there. Heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. It's an old Nord proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test. You've been talked too hot-headed. They cried, weak, pathetic. It wasn't. They wanted. I guess I thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I oh, well, him look, I'm not going to touch that one. Like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Good. Talk Chat did cross over. my mind, yeah. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen. That mountain, yes? Helgen. Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. That was a nice little bit of dialogue there. So. Oh, buy a horse. Let's do it, boys. Suit yourself. Oh, actually. <laughs> so that, that could be something we can do a bit later. We get a horse and that will allow us to travel the roads a bit safer. Um, we'll be able to get to other towns as well. That could be fun. Alright, so on our way to White Run. So I've decided to pay the guards here. I think it's a good way to kind of... Uh, it's a good way to progress. Like, you know, we had to m at least make money before we could get into Whiterun. So it's a nice little way to ensure that we're doing his things properly here. So we've made a bit of coin as a farmer outside the walls of Whiterun. And now we have enough money to pay Lord, the guard. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. So there we go, guys. We're going to pay this guy. And that's it. We've earned our passage into the great city of Whiterun. <laughs> so 
So here we are, guys. Beautiful town. So we're going to be, um, as I said, we're probably going to head to the Bannered Mare first. See if we can get a job of some kind. Earn some coin. And stay the night. And that will end our first day in the life of a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> Here you oh, go, buddy. Thank you. Divines bless you. See, we've got to make some friends, you know. We've got to act like normal people. <laughs> I know your family's honor is important to you. So I got this letter for Amran. I'm going to give him it that for, as the post office man. Work, it might suit you. So there you go. I'll give you the letter. Go back to the city postman. So I might do that in the morning. Uh, that's. I think that's something. A job for tomorrow. For tonight, we need to go to the Ben Amir, get ourselves a beer. Get ourselves a beer, indeed. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. So here we go, guys. Need something? So we've got a cook. We've got a bartender here. So mm. let's speak to this yes, bartender. Yes, I haven't got all day. Oh, wait, we got need some. So let's do some work. We're gonna we're gonna work as a bartender here in the Bennett Mayor. <laughs> fuck's doozing. Um, it's like frozen, guys. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just sort this out. I think I gotta. Yes, yes, I haven't. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we've got to sell 10 drinks. That was a bit fucking weird, wasn't it? A bit how you going? Alright, so we'll, we'll sell, sell some beers. Make it? No, oh, he doesn't want any. Come to check. Oh, savior. Yes, mum? Do you want beer? Certainly, mum. No chance. What the hell? Someone have a drink? If you need more food or drink, speak to Hulda. Yeah. Now please, Aye. no more questions. There we go. There's my boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Get amongst. Yes. All right. So we're just gonna sell some beers. Isn't this good, guys? We're just a regular old bartender in inside the world of Skyrim. Working job uh, to earn some money just so we have somewhere to stay. Riggins, I can hand Sadness for your lady friends. My so we're just doing our second round now on, on the beers. All right, all right. And, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I accidentally <laughs> stole something. Say you in your <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now, come along with us. Oh, come on, man. Fucking hell. Just got arrested, boys. <laughs> Need something. All right, there we go. We sold our beers. So we've done our first job, man. Oh, it feels so good, guys. We're we're making our life here in Skyrim. And there we go, 50 gold pieces. And that should definitely be enough to rent out the room. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Awesome. So we got our room now, guys. We got ten let's gold pieces. Appetite, hmm? Yeah, let's get something for dinner. Our guy's probably a bit hungry after work. So we get some potatoes. Um, what do you reckon? A bit of bread. And um, let's get some cooked meat. So we got some. Are you joking? Our guy's a, a killer. He's a he's a nice he's a healthy healthy eater. Nice meat and veg. With a bit of bread. You know, he needs something to wash it down with, I think, though. Yeah, hopefully there's some wine in my room. Is she going to show me to... Yep. Alright, she's going to show me to my room. Okay, so this must be my room here. I'm guessing. She's walked here, so... Is this my room? We're just gonna have dinner first, so we got our um, got our baked potatoes, our bread, and our cooked beef. That was a lovely little dinner, and we we'll wash it down with some wine. So can I? 
the hell's dudes in here? I can't sleep here. Did I just pay for this? Yes. She led me to the bloody wrong room. All right, guys. Oh, take a load off. We've just had a big day. We had to escape a dragon attack. We had a, got our first ship of shift of work. Uh, we had dinner, and we've got a room now. So, we, you know what? I think it's time we hit the hay. Yeah, I think it's time we we get some you rest. Ah, oh, nah, it's a bit late for me, darling. Now, please, no more questions. Yeah. All right. So guys, I think we're gonna hit the hay. Um, let's have a let's have a good night's sleep. Um, let's get up bright and early um, to to find some work in the morning. Hi. All right, guys. So it's the next morning, and I think I'm just gonna help out the cook here. We're gonna get started with the day, uh, helping around the Bennett Mare. This is kind of gonna be my hub for for the moment. Well, maybe not. Depends on those comments, guys. You leave that comment. The highest like comment would be what we do in the next episode, so keep that in mind. Um, but for now, we're just going to cook some food um, to help out the Bennett Mare uh, for the morning customers. So we'll make some cheesecakes. Here we go. the chef now we give him some uh <laughs> and there we go guys our first day in Skyrim as an NPC we survived we made it to the Bennett Mare we found some work we found a bed to sleep in for the night so I'm gonna leave it from here the first day in the life peace out guys <laughs>